Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play slash Try Tormentum. I was uh, actually asked to do a little spot on this by uh, Lucas Rutowski of uh, Oh No Studio. So I am very happy to do this because this is kind of um, a point and click game that's in a similar vein to Darkseed and I really enjoyed the first one. I don't enjoy the second one and no I won't ever be doing that one. Um, but I really feel that uh, HR Giger would be proud to see another game in uh, a vein like uh, Darkseed and a good game at that so that's that's pretty awesome sad that he's not around to uh, to see this coming around but um, right now this is set to a very specific resolution uh, with this game I think it's um, 1380 768 or 1360 something like that um, but I will be making this a 720 anyway um, I imagine they're going to be allowing you to change the resolution once the uh, full thing is out but right now they are working on an Indiegogo campaign to uh, raise funds for this game which is uh, similar to Kickstarter and uh, I will definitely be supporting this myself it's going to be on PC Mac iOS and Android anyway let's go ahead and uh, get started with uh, Tormentum Dark Sorrow here Act in such a way that you treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of another, always at the same time as an end and never simply as a means. Immanuel Kant Who am I? Where am I? Why can't I remember a thing? So many questions, so many secrets. But before I could grasp my own situation, I was shackled and thrown into a cage. This guy looks like a uh, kobold or something. Hey, you! Hoodie! I see they've got you too. They came to my house at night and took me, without a reason. You're also innocent, am I right? Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Today, fortune joined our paths, my friend, but soon it'll separate them again, when our lives meet their unavoidable ends. Those who were kidnapped before us? Nobody made it back. I'm afraid about my family. I left them all alone. Is there still any hope for us? As opposed to my companion, I didn't remember a thing. Well, almost. The only thing I could remember was a statue depicting like a forest of human hands, nothing else. When I woke up, uh, I was already in my cage. Who am I? What are they going to punish me for? What is the meaning of all this? If only I could find that statue, I need to find a way out of this place. We landed on a castle's courtyard. I was dragged to my cell by a group of guards wearing horned iron helmets. After a while, one of them came back to me and spoke. Another one of the... I'm guessing awakened is what that's meant to be. That's about to taste the pain of torture. So a little bit of a grammatical error here and there, probably. So this is a demo from the uh, the Indiegogo campaign at the moment, so I cannot fault a few grammar errors here and there. You just need to look deep into yourself and you'll learn the answer. You can't? Oh, we'll help you. Those are some really epic horns on his helmet, though. That is some awesome armor. Just remember one thing. Nothing's final. You can still change your fate even though it's already been written down. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a long time ago rather than a long time ago. Anyway, uh, in the book of life and death. You might think nothing depends on your actions, but in reality, everything depends on you and you alone. Before a potter finishes shaping his lump of clay, anything's possible. Await my return in peace. I should be back soon. 
So this game, um, rather than having you walk around, is just uh, animated screens that you can kind of look around. Um, Similar to, I would suppose, uh, the original Myst game, which was a fantastic game if you've never played it. Highly recommend it. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and see what we got going on here. Looks like some uh, scratches on the wall here. Some wall scribbles. It looks like somebody used to count out the days spent in this cell. What do we have here? A cryptic drawing. Could it be that one of my predecessors wanted to leave some kind of message? Hmm. So it looks like these have X's by them and they're green. Perhaps um, these are safe to climb on or something? I, I don't know. Does that look like that um, brought this notepad up? Does that mean I can just look at that whenever? Oh, that's sweet. I hate it when games don't allow you to look at things that are important later on, but this one just has the pictures right there. That's fantastic. That is a great idea. Let's see, I guess this is our inventory. We don't seem to have much of anything right now. We are a hooded figure and we do not know anything about ourselves. Can I click on me? No, I cannot. And things apparently glow after a while if you take too long. Whatever. I do like that um, when you're not over something that's clickable, it will change the cursor. That's kind of a nice feature. I guess we're going to take this, or is this going to point somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, we're going to take it. I found the forearm of a skeleton. Who knows? Maybe I'll find a use for it. I don't know. Maybe a skeleton key? Can I uh, unlock this or something? No, this is some kind of plate here. Almost looks like a wing or something? At some point, it looks like there might have been a drawing on this, but it's been worn away. I can't take a look inside. The lid is screwed on tightly. So I guess we need something to unscrew this. Screw keeping the lid in place. I need some kind of tool in order to unscrew it. All right. Well, let's see. What we got going down here? Nothing. It's very empty. A small drain grate. I can't move it. It's too firmly screwed to the floor. Is it? I don't really see any screws. Maybe it's welded to the floor rather than screwed. Anything else with this guy? An odd looking skeleton. I don't want to end like this poor wretch. Hey birdie. What you got there? Is that like a ticket or something? Looks like a ticket stub. <laughs> Well, that was easy to take. I found a metal plate. It seems to be part of something bigger. This bird decided to hide here from the meteor rain. Yeah, it seems like that's probably not a place you would want to go out to, but then again, we are in a place where we're stuck, and one of those things could come crashing in here, so that seems kind of dangerous. The sky is shedding tears of fire. I like the writing in this game so far. It's nice. Let's see what we got over here. The remains of some poor guy sprawled out on the bunk. I hope he at least died in his sleep. Oh. Well, that busted. Uh, okay, I accidentally broke the skull. Something fell out of it and rolled into the drain. So the drain does come in handy later on, just not at first. Skull pieces. There was a crystal eye hidden within the skull. A skeleton with its head severed. Apart from that, I don't see anything particular about him. Crystal eye laying at the bottom of the drain. I can't reach it, but if I could find something long... Like an arm? I think we can do that. Sweet. Found a crystal eye. It seems to emanate with a strange kind of energy. Is there a right click on these things? No, you just get to see their names. I do like that you're getting to see their names in the inventory. There are some point and click games that do not show up with the names and you have to click on them all the time to just uh, get a little bit of information. What's going on up here? There's a small opening in the ceiling above. Water seems to be dripping from it. Too high to reach. Do I have that arm? No. I was hoping I could knock something out of there. All right, um, what else we got here? Thick prison bars with some kind of mechanism placed in the middle. 
What is that? A piece of mirror, but I'm unable to reach it from behind these bars. Anything else? Uh, something at my feet? No. It's just acting as if it can click on me, and then when it uh, is actually clicked, it stops being clickable. Alright, I don't think there's anything else to do in here, and I'm guessing that metal piece is probably what we need to unscrew these things, so let's give it a shot. That looks like it's probably just big enough for these. Yep, that works quite well. I like how that falls to the side. Sweet, a gear puzzle. Hmm, I wonder something, these are like half red here, can I not... Aha! Okay, so red gears can only go on the ones that have the uh, red surfaces. Perhaps they're different sizes, I don't know. But can blue gears? Yeah, blue gears. Looks like they can go on anything. Alright, anyway, I imagine I need to spin that, so that looks good. Put a few of these over here. That was pretty simple. I like that puzzle. That was a fun little puzzle. I like that you can kind of see um, the gears in there after removing the plate. I wish the plate was actually on the floor though, so you could uh, take a look at it as you're leaving, but it doesn't seem to actually be there. Alright, let's see if we can't take this glass. It looks an awful lot like some kind of makeshift guillotine. <laughs> Found a piece of mirror. Can I do anything else here? No, it doesn't look like it. Is that an Ouroboros that we're seeing? Hold on. Yeah, it's totally an Ouroboros, I think. Actually, that might be three snakes. Not sure what three snakes would be. Ugh, these guys look uh, kind of dangerous. Now we're definitely getting that H.R. Uh, Giger kind of artistry in here. That's nice. Eyes to be able to see. Heart, so I can feel. Light, to dispel the darkness. The stone angel will show you the way only if you meet these three requirements. Well, I guess they're friendly. Can I talk to the other ones? No, it seems to be the same message no matter what. Alright. They look like some kind of strange zombie creatures. I don't know. Let's see here. So this is probably where a heart needs to go, I would imagine. Something's amiss here. Really? I didn't notice. Is this a something? No. It's the same thing. Yeah, that's got three snakes, so that can't be an Ouroboros. Someone tell me, what's with the three snakes? I know two would be an Ouroboros. Well, actually, no, it's one, because it's the snake eating its own tail. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. The skull is part of the chapel. It looks like there should be something in the eye sockets. Yeah, well, I imagine it's the eye that I found earlier. Is there anything else that we've got around here? No. Let's try putting this eye in here. <laughs> okay, um... Nope, I can't take that out. Let's see what else we got going on around here. Looks like... A mirror that has been broken. I'm guessing that this needs to be in here. Yeah. And it looks like these um, are turnable. I'm guessing that we need to reflect some kind of light at some point. Maybe we need to light these with this candle or something. Oh. Blinky. Oh, I see. It's kind of a draggable object. I like this. This is nice. The candles light up the statue of an angel. Alright. Do we need to go back here? Candles are burning. Nope. We do not need to go back to do anything with that. I was kind of wondering if this uh, picture might have something to do with how I needed to light up the candles. I wasn't really paying attention to that at first, but it seems fine. That looks like another piece of mirror here. Thank you very much. I think I'll wait to find other pieces. Actually, it'd probably be good to put this other piece here and figure out how many pieces I need. 
So possibly two more pieces at this point. Still missing a piece of mirror. I think probably two. I don't think I've ever seen a bow tie crack before on any sort of shard of mirror. Is this anything up here? No, that's just the skulls again. Is there anything else to click on around here? There's something for a brief second that might just be them. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Ah, yes! So you can move those around. Doesn't matter right now. Because I have nothing going on at the moment. Ah, so this is where it matters to uh, have that picture. Another piece of mirror. What else do we have going on around here? Hello. What is this? Do I need to use that piece of metal again, or? No, these just come off on their own. I believe that must be the angel's heart. I found something that looks like a heart made of stone. Someone really tried to hide it away. All right, let's see here. What else do we got around here? That looks like the piece of mirror. Is it okay if I mess with this? Eh, it looks fine. I think I'm okay to grab this. Got a nice new piece of mirror. All right, let's take a look at this real quick. So it's the first one, the third one, and then two more after it. So this, 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 this. What does this do? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so looks like levers that I'm pulling. What exactly does this do? Hold on. That didn't light up like that before, did it? No, it didn't. Okay, so it's an order puzzle. Interesting. What's going on here? Oh, there's an eye. I can see a shiny object resting at the bottom of the well. If only I could find a way to raise the water level. Okay, so that's what this puzzle is about. Alright. Let's assume that it's probably the furthest thing away or half for this, I'm gonna guess with this. That looks right. Um, 50% chance, uh, this one. Yeah, I think I got it. Aha! I'll take that. Nice new crystal eye that seems to emanate with a strange kind of energy. Uh, I'm guessing I don't really need to do anything else here. And that does not restart the puzzle for any particular reason. The well is now empty. Alright, I think we're done here. Interesting, so you can actually pull other things down even though they're not really part of the puzzle. This one, however, is just to open that door. Okay. Good to know. Doesn't look like there's anything else around here that almost looked like a snake, like a giant snake going through there, but I'm pretty sure that was just one of the meteors. Alright, I think we probably have enough to get this going. Yeah. Oops. This wing is part of some larger mechanism. It won't budge. The wing seems to be stuck. Huh. Interesting. Did not notice the wings before. I was actually trying to click up here, but that works. Crystal I activated part of the mechanism. I wonder if that means that I can move the wings. Ah. Okay, so that activates some lights here. Well, let's give you a heart real quick. The stone heart started to pulsate with a faint red light. And I need some new mirror shards. I think I have enough. All the pieces are in place. So this can now move wherever. I'm guessing what we're trying to do here is make some kind of um, image to appear with uh, these bolts. I don't seem to have anything else, so I think we're set, and these wings seem to move this around. 
That's beginning to look a little bit like a pentagram. I'm guessing that's what we're going for here. Oh, okay. <laughs> the rays of light created some kind of symbol. The ground started to shake and the statue... I think it went down. Missed the last half of that, but whatever. I'm sure you all read it. Anyway, now we're really getting some uh, HR Giger looking stuff in here in the back. There's nothing to do with that. It looks like it's only down here. Alright, do you guys say anything different now? No. Still the same thing. You are kind of um, not capable of understanding what's going on, I guess. They're, they really are zombies. They just say the same thing over and over again. Aha! So it looks like we need this. So... Can I click these things? Oh, okay. So what am I doing here? It looks like... Ah. Moving stuff around. Okay. It's like a little uh, lock puzzle. I like it. Alright, um, let's see what would fit there. This one. Okay, and um, you need to go over here, it looks like. Uh, you right there. And um, would it be this one? or? Uh, I don't know. I think it's this one. And then that. There we go. Kind of confusing to see which one is which. So now we can go in here? What, does this open up or something? Oh, no, the whole thing opens up. Okay. All right, that's the end of the demo. Very, very quick demo, but still a lot of fun. I like what they've done with this so far, even though it's just, like, three little rooms. Um, and I can't wait to see more. I am definitely going to support this. I recommend that you guys support this. There will be a link below in... Um, either one or two videos. I don't know how many videos this is actually going to be, but uh, make sure you check out the Indiegogo project and uh, go support them. I'll see y'all later. Bye for now.